my name is Michael Peters and I'm part of the management team of the Livestock and Fish CRP and my task today is to describe two scenarios which would mean scenario one continuous current livestock and fish focus and just expand that in, uh, to the next uh, CRP phase and the other scenario would be that the CRP would be responsible for the whole livestock agenda in the CG. Um, there is a brief based uh, on these two concepts and I would summarize that and put, put the constraints I see, the differences I see and as a, as a topic for discussion. Obviously, scenario two would mean a shift of resources from other CRPs to the livestock and fish CRP. But uh, more important than only the budget, there are a few issues. So the original focus of livestock and fish is on sustainable intensification for food and nutrition security. If we are taking the whole livestock uh, agenda, this uh, agenda obviously needs to be vastly expanded and uh, a few of the concepts are shown below. For the time being we are using very very defined value chains uh, across a few countries which includes dairy, pig value chain, fish value chain and uh, double purpose value chain and small ruminant value chains. The question is if we have the global agenda or an expanded agenda, can we, can we stick to these very defined value chains or do we need to amplify into other places? Which may be not that easy that recognizing that even the current value chains which we are working on, uh, we have still issues to fully implement them. In the current agenda, the technology flagships, which is animal genetics, animal and fish genetics, animal health and uh, feeds and forages would be maintained and in the new scenario it would be the human health agenda expanded but forage and feeds are not more clearly defined which uh, I have a personal issue with that uh, animal health and animal genetics would be maintained forages and feeds would shift from forages and feeds to animal nutrition and there could be a content-wise similarity but we would lose completely visi visibility for forages and feeds and this in the context of an increased attention to the seams and, and recognizing forages as a crop with the largest expansion worldwide bigger than for example rice and I think there need to be a very thorough dis, uh, discussion on that. Um, in the current scenario, we would give more attention than we have in the past few years on environmental issues such as mitigation of greenhouse gases, land use changes, land degradation and in the new scenario how it is uh, currently shown, this uh, environment dimension is not coming, coming fully through. So, as it stated at the moment, is mainly, re mainly related to animal nutrition, but probably the agenda is much more broad. And we would not have in a global livestock agenda scenario as it presented currently, the whole interaction with cro crops and trees. And that would mean we would lose a, a full perspective. Again, discussion needed. Uh, in the current scenario, the agenda would uh, amplify it with novel feed resources but uh, and that would happen basically in, in both places as well. We would have a very different focus on our systems and sustainability uh, agenda which currently includes a lot of targeting and environmental dimension and in the new system would focus more on social sciences including human nutrition. The, the, the new version is probably more complete 
but uh, I guess even the wider wider application as shown in the new scenario could be put also in the current scenario. Um, at the moment, what we have there are clear possibilities for cross CRP integration with the gene bank system CRPs, uh, health. Uh, WLE, roots and tubers, C-cuffs, and whatever there would be. The, the new focus would be mainly on health and roots and tuber. Again, I would say that we need to discuss if that's not too limited in focus. Uh, what is much uh, better in the new scenario is the clear role of, of uh, policy. And we so this still it works that's against something we could put whatever to agendas. And in generally in the new phase we need to strengthen business aspects. So in short, this needs further discussion and I personally coming out of forages I see a particular uh, particular strong problem how it's currently presented the global scenario to global livestock agenda for the role of forages in the system, which needs to be, in my view, much better highlighted. And secondly, we are losing a lot of the environmental dimension and the possible interaction in systems. Thank you.